there. You've got a burr through there, but not through there yet. So that blade there is straight off the grinder. You can see the serrations running down the blade. And this one here, that one there, has been sharpened and stropped. And you can see the roll edge that stropping gives it right there. Off the grinder, um, I finish it with a real fine belt and then you go through with the rough stone which is 500 and you create a, um, a burr so you pretty much find the edge. Popping hairs. So from 500 go to the 1000 and then just start removing that just polishing that burr. Wait until I get a bit of a mud going. These stones you can keep in water. Um, my more expensive ones they say not to, but you just want the water to pull on the surface. And then that creates the mud, because that's what you've got. That's like the mud, and that's what's doing all the cutting. Essentially like a grinding paste, eh, for yep. any old school mechanics out there. The mud sand's talking about it's similar to grinding paste that or jeweler's paste is another word for it. And you can actually buy the grinding paste or the jeweler's paste to grind valves and cars to seat the valves into the head. All that stuff about edge angle is sort of irrelevant. It's more what the steel can handle. So everyone talks about oh, 15 degrees, but like if you've got hard steel, you can go real, real fine edge. And like I'm, I bought this um, stainless or just a little folding knife and I reground it fine and um, took off the big because they they do quite a fine grind they just do a big bevel on it I just made it like a convex grind and then um, just got it sharp and I cut up a pig and a deal first and it was awesome so the harder the steel the finer the edge the you can put it the sharper the edge or and, the I, and I reckon if you if you want to sharpen Shaking shoes. Didn't even cut it, just like <laughs> scallop. <laughs> yeah, edge angle. Um, I reckon if you do get stones and want to do it, start shallow and go out. And if you're cutting up animals and it starts crapping out on you, just increase that angle till you find an angle. So often when I give someone a knife, I'm like bringing it back. <laughs> maybe after cutting up a few animals and we'll have a look at the edge and if it's um, held up then we know that works for you and if it's um, crapped out then you know you need to make it more you know way steeper like a bowing knife you do it's almost like an axe sort of thing and then when you that the meat behind the edge protects the edge but the edge is still just a perfect edge the key is just to um, work out what you steal like most um, cheaper knives they'll be quite soft and um, I would recommend quite a... Um, 25 to 30. You can sharpen it fine and then do a micro bevel on the tip, which is like, um, it basically reinforces that edge. Essentially that's what stropping does, isn't it? Creates that micro bevel, rolls yeah, the edge over. Yeah, it just over. rolls the edge over and makes it a bit stronger. You should check this, um, this one now. Because I've gone now down to, a, um, down to the 1000 stone. This is just a diamond stone and I, I recommend if you do get water stones to get one of these for flattening them. Just because just if you do heaps of sharpening you'll just end up with sort of valleys in your stone. And if you don't have a diamond stone, like can. so, what can you do? I think you can use another stone. Yeah. But um yeah, these are just they're just fast and efficient. I actually don't recommend doing it all the time. It's just when you when you start getting ugly bits on the stone and it's just really handy for making the stones mint again. This stone is the 6000 so we went from the 1000 to the 6000. The 6000 sort of polishes that burr so it like creates a breaking breaking point and then you can draw it through um, like the end grain of wood and that um, can just peel that big burr off especially if you've got quite an obvious burr like you can see the edge now is got this perfect shiny strip on it and that um, if I strop that now and 
the key is to, um, so it was sort of sticky off the, um, the 1000 and you want the edge to be slippery and when you when it feels slippery usually that means you've removed the burr um, but under a microscope it still looks pretty rough. Yeah.